So back to the Observer lead story, Rock and Roman and WrestleMania, and you and Brian have already talked about this, but I had one question based on what you'd written, which is you gave alternate WrestleMania scenarios. One of them was the idea that they could do that match at the Elimination Chamber. The other idea was maybe they do two matches for Roman at WrestleMania. My, my question to you is, knowing Dwayne, as you have known him in the past, to me, well, I guess the question is, is, do you think it for him, it's sort of WrestleMania or bust in his mind? Like that's where he sees the, the biggest bang for what he can do. I would lean towards that. Um, you know, I mean, if if Saudi Arabia offers an incredible amount of money, I don't know what the it, it feels like going there is not a big deal anymore. You know, when it was, you know, it would have been in, in his best interest not to go for for the political reasons but i don't know that that's a, a factor in hollywood anymore at all i don't know um but there's a lot of money in that if it's just pure money but when it comes to Dwayne, i mean i mean when when i would discuss stuff with him about what he's going to do and everything it it was always about the biggest stage and i don't even think it was money to him you know it really you know because again like like i will say that like in these discussions of like, you know, come back, it's always like a certain opponent and it's the stage and it's, and it, whether it was movies or wrestling, it was always about trying to break a record. You know what I mean? Record breaking I, for that, you know, and maybe that's because of, you know, growing up with, with, um, you know, the grandfather, um, you know, being a wrestler and a promoter, um, the father being a wrestler for so many decades and in their lingo in that world it was what was the gate what's the gate that's the 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 big the big thing it's not how well received your matches it's what the gate and like he was always you know like again wanting to be on the stage where he could break a record like the two cena matches were you know the whole thing was the pay-per-view record that was you know the the thing or the gate record or whatever he was you know and it, when it's a movie it's about, you know, some kind of a record or, or num being number one for being number one for the weekend or number one for the month or whatever it was always, that was always, he was always had that, that, that mentality of business. And of course he's running a business, you know, his pr production company. So it's, that's ingrained in him, you know, his business business, you know what I mean? But also, you know, he's doing this for fun because he doesn't have to do it and he's doing it for excitement and he, you know, that type of thing. That's why when he came back Monday, um, it wasn't announced ahead of time. Like if they had announced that ahead of time, I mean, the rating would have been much higher, much higher than it was. But, you know, he was doing it because in that case, he wanted that pop because, you know, of, of people in the building not knowing he's going to be there. And there he is. That's what he wants. Every time he comes back, they never announce it ahead of time. You know what I mean? It's, it's, he'll, they'll do the little tease, but they won't do the, so, 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 but, but they won't do the announcement. But yes, what I would say is, is, I think WrestleMania for that reason would be very important to him as opposed to a show in Australia where maybe he could make more money or a show in Saudi Arabia where maybe he could make more money. I don't, I, I, I would get that, but um, especially with Reigns and especially because, you know, like you never say this about anyone because you're going to be wrong 85% of the time, maybe 90, but I do think this is his last match because I don't think, like, I think he only wants to do big matches, and I think this is the last one on his bucket list. It's his cousin. His cousin's the biggest star in the business right now. Um, you know, I mean, symbolic cousin, but, you know, but still, you know, I mean, the families grew up together and everything like that. Um, I think that this has that meaning to him. And um, because of that, I think that, again, I think if he wants to have his last match, um, Number one, I think it's it's. I think he wants to have a great match. I don't think he wants to come in and just, you know, go in there and it's like get a get a paycheck and and draw a gate. I think he wants to have a great match. It's going to be. I don't know how tough it'll be. I mean, it's like he hasn't wrestled in years and years and years, and he hasn't wrestled full time in you know a really long time. But for one night, I mean, he's a good athlete and everything like that. Um, very good athlete. Um. But, um, yeah, I think all of that tells me if it's up to him and it is up to him, you know what I mean? That's the thing at the end of the day, it is up to him. Um, 
I think that Mania is is going to be a lot more important just because it's last match at WrestleMania against Roman Reigns in front of, you know, I mean, 60 probably going to be there this year. You know, it's not going to be 100 or 90 or whatever, but it's still a packed stadium that's going to go crazy in theory, you know, in, in your in your anticipation. And, um, you know, whatever his close of his, you know, his closing moment of that match that he's, I'm sure, visualized for years, you know, I think that's where he would want it. But, um, you know, we'll see. Now, one thing you also wrote is that because this show is now on Peacock, you have the opportunity for the biggest audience ever and the most people coming in to watch a show, which could get them hooked essentially if you, if it's a good show and for the future so would would WWE want February being big and then Mania being maybe not as big as it would have with Rock or would they rather have that one giant you know scenario with the Rock bringing uh, in all uh, of those public eyeballs I uh, I think you want the public I think you wanted at WrestleMania I yeah. um um you know, if you're if if I'm Nick Khan, you know, I can't imagine not seeing WrestleMania. If I'm Dwayne, I can't imagine not seeing WrestleMania. Um, maybe there's a situation where, um, you know, if it's not, maybe his schedule. You know, I mean, it is. What's that? The the UFL debuts March 30th. He's going to have to promote it a lot. Yeah. Um, that's a that's you know, the Mania is the very next week, so that's a that's an interesting one. Um. You know, whatever it is, they're keeping it real secret from me. I know that because <laughs> um, believe me, I've tried to find out and it's usually stuff I can find out. And in uh, this case, you may have to like, wait until Valentine's Day is, is probably. Uh, yeah, they're going to call me on Valentine's Day, right? <laughs> that's that's that is usually it, right? Valentine's Day. It's like all the calls about uh, uh, the surprises at WrestleMania, you know, about a week before they're announced or sometimes a month before they're announced. Yeah. But I mean, he did get out ahead of it, right? We are even before the Royal Rumble. So there's like three months literally to promote this and figure it all out. Um, the, I thought the promo was so, I, I don't even know if it's old school. It just, I was just like, is this Hulk Hogan against Sergeant Slaughter all over again? Like what, what are we doing? Oh, yeah, in 2024? Yeah, sure. yeah. They, I mean, it's so funny that they did the, um, the, the, uh, you know, you pro USA promo, um, but he can do no wrong because I just remember that when Cody Rhodes tried to do the same, tried to do his dad's promo against Anthony Agogo. Yeah, I was it, I was really offended by that one. Not, yeah, I'm not it, offended, offended, but just like I can't believe we're doing this. Uh, yeah, but I mean, it freaking derailed his whole run there. Yeah, you know, because he, he got that 20 percent booze that that you know became the cool thing to do, and um, I'm not saying that's the reason he left because obviously. <laughs> him leaving was the best move for him oh for him gosh. that it possibly could have ever been but um you know i'm sure it played a part <laughs> you know what i mean you're trying to be a baby face and uh and all that but um yeah yeah i know it's it, look that's the era that's the era he's from um and that's why they put gender out there i mean <laughs> with the, 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 you know it's like of all the people now i will say this of all the people on that roster if you had said Dwayne's coming in. We need to heal to set him up, you know, that he can beat up. That's, you know, whatever. I'm not sure Jinder Mahal would be in my top 15, but there, the, you know, I forgot they, that he, I just forgot that he was even there. I know. Um, I mean, he certainly was expendable. He was, you know, he, he did have that foreign hatred thing going, you know, during that run when they pushed him, but that was years ago. And everybody, you know, ever since that run, he's been basically forgotten. Well, I think the thing is, though, is you couldn't have put a current heel star because it would have looked like you were setting up a match. And then, you know, you're really setting up the Roman thing. So like the Austin Theory thing worked prior because you're like, oh, Austin, Theory, Austin, Theory still could, have Austin Theory still could have been the guy there. But you, but you, you could have done you could have done Grayson, but Grayson is on the other show. Yeah, you could do Grayson easily. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's um, guy. there's there's there's. You could you could do almost anyone. I mean, you could do Dominic, you know? I mean, um, and and I could even make a good argument for, to do Dominic in that spot. That but, segment may have lasted longer with Dominic because the fans wouldn't have been able to stop booing. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, um, 
yeah, maybe if Dwayne had been watching the TV every week, he would have pegged <laughs> Dominic just like Punk did. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notify button, and you'll never miss a video again.